Hello, everyone. This is the Tarot Queen, Jamila. Okay, so I am listening to some throat chakra clearing or throat chakra healing uh, meditation for this video. <clears throat> this is going to be for um, the cancer for um, April 18th to April the 24th. I think it is. It's going to be from Monday to Sunday, so the 24th. Okay, so this is going to be your weekly uh, mini forecast for next week. And <clears throat> I just tried to record this and my voice is kind of going in and out. So I'm doing throat exercises and listening to the, because I talk a lot, because I've been so busy with reading. So please forgive me. Um, while I was shuffling earlier for the cancer, the emperor did jump out of the deck. So even though this is going to be a three-card spread, um, the emperor is sort of like um, over the spread. And so this is a love reading. Um, let me just go over the emperor with you really quick. Um, the emperor is sort of like the empress because this is somebody that's really com competent. And cancer's really like that because we're kind of the goofy you know, good nature, you know, just very always trying to make people happy and make people feel good. And people usually respond very well to that. But like, you know, we look, we, I don't know what it is about, like every cancer woman I've seen usually likes men that just are like really superior, but simple, but then complicated at the same time. So I don't know. I guess the emperor is sort of comforting. Um, it's a comforting energy for the cancer. And I think that's so beautiful um, because I really do love the emperor. And the empress is like the opposite. So the empress is like this really fertile, just beautiful woman. And she's with the emperor because she's the only one that really can catch his eye. <laughs> so... I like getting the emperor. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to shuffle just a little bit more, and then I'm going to lay out three cards for you. And this is going to be present, past, and future. And this is for next week. Okay, so Cancer, your first card that you got for next week is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of coins. Um, that's a good card. So when we're looking at love, that's a good card as well as <clears throat> as well as when you're looking at financially, because I get the feeling that um, some of you cancers may be thrown off a little bit because when us cancers get thrown off, like it can upset our balance because we're so sensitive. And we're a lot of us have such a deep intuition, like we can feel stuff through, you know what I'm saying? We can feel stuff through messages. And so we get to the point, like I know for a fact, I don't mean to give cancer special treatment, but I am one myself. So I do have to say this is that we will retreat into our shell when we're being bothered by people that we don't want to be bothered with. Um, so this is abundance and security in a relationship. So I can see presently that your relationship is going great. Like for a lot of you cancers, it may not resonate for everybody. You know, we all got problems. It's not a 10, but it's a nine. And when you look at the context of love, it just means, um, a lot of security and it's funny how <clears throat> I'll get these cards whenever I do the cancer reading and it'll feel like I'm uh, you know and I'm just drawing the cards you know so um, I think that's important for a lot of you cancers especially if you're feeling kind of frazzled if you don't really know what's going on so this is a really good thing in the past you got the death card so you just recently had some sort of huge transformation um, this was the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new one. Um, and so that's really good. You know, um, some of you cancers that are single, um, you're going to meet somebody next week. 
and I can see that there was some cancers that just recently let go of a bad relationship and like it not only that you let it go in your heart and it doesn't bother you anymore so you kind of like closed that chapter opened up another one and the emperor um it was something else oh my god it was something important that i wanted to say about the emperor and guys the reason my voice sounds weird is because i have allergies and my ears are kind of stuffy so i have to use this i use a herbal concoction i don't use medicines um and i haven't done it today so i'm sorry give me a second y'all ah uh, that's the wrong one it was something that i wanted to tell you okay there it is so I can see for some of you cancers, you uh, may have gotten out of an abusive relationship, some of you, but with the emperor being there, I doubt it. Um, the emperor is, this is about passion, but it's also about domination and strict rules. So for some reason, the emperor jumped out. So <laughs> I don't know what that was about. And then also it looks like a lot of you cancers are really paying attention to your parental um, units <laughs> and you're like taking advice and you're just taking stuff in and you're um, you're kind of like what's the word I'm looking for you're taking in the wisdom of someone older than you and you're allowing them to guide you but if it's your man and you know what I'm saying it could be that he's dominating um, that's another thing that the emperor he wanted to be in this reading for some reason so Anyway, there was a transformation. You got two major arcanas, so um, <clears throat> I can see some really major stuff going on. Um, the death card shows the intensity of the relationship, and in the future, um, oh wow, this is interesting. You got the eight of swords, but it was in reverse. The eight of swords in reverse, that is so interesting. So. Here's what I take from that, and I'm not trying to be biased in this reading, but the but I and and so this is a general thing, um, but it does definitely relate to my life, and I know a lot of you of all the zodiac signs are telling me, oh my God, this is scary, accurate. I can't believe that you know all this stuff. So I already know with the Eight of Swords. So in the upright position, it means bondage. So it could still mean that. Um, in the future, there's some sort of bondage going on or being controlled by outside forces. But in the reverse meaning, it means freedom and ability to think for oneself and independence. So that's a beautiful card. And that card totally does not resonate with me at all because I have Leo rising and I don't. I, st I stand up for what I believe in. So, I, you know, I'm not real sure why this came out, but. For it to come out reverse the way that it did, um, that is actually a beautiful meaning. So um, if you want a more personalized reading, I'm sorry, this is what I want to tell you because I'm on the Killing Fear Week. We are going to murder fear this week, guys. Next week is going to be a bunch of powerful stuff that I'm going to be sharing with y'all. But the Eight of Swords in the upright position means fear. And this is self-inflicted fear. So this is you listening to outside forces and they're not being honest with you about your situation and they've been bothering you. Well, in the upright position, that's what it means. But the eight of swords in the reverse means that you are free from that. And I believe that's what that transformation was about. Um, it could either be you or your partner or both at the same time, especially if you're dealing with a twin flame. Um, if you want a personalized reading with me, link is in the video description box. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.